Hello guys, Oscar Hotel 8 Sierra Tango November here for Off Grid Ham Radio. Today, let's talk a little bit about asynchronous messaging. Last weekend, I think it was the second weekend in January, I published a video about microblogging with JS8 Call and VAR AC. One of you asked me if it's possible to do a video on messaging with JS8 Call and with VAR AC. Another viewer asked about asynchronous messaging for prepping versus uh, traditional voice communications. Let's talk about that one first. Of course, we're going to use voice communications for real-time tactical communications. This is the way we communicate in real time. Once communications are already established, we know where everybody is. We know where they are on the bands. We're all on the same frequency. We're coordinated. Of course, we can use voice modes. Asynchronous data modes and asynchronous messaging comes into play when we have no idea where our group members are, where the people we want to communicate with are. So if there's no SCED, if you have no idea how to coordinate with them, if you don't know where they are on the bands, if they actually are on the bands, then we need to find a way to get a message to them when they are able to get back on the bands. This is the reason for asynchronous messaging. And asynchronous messaging, we can do so with, for example, GSA call, with VAR AC, and naturally with WinLink. The reason we use asynchronous communications is because we're not actually in communications with the group or people we want to speak with at the moment. Asynchronous communications allows us to put the message out there, whether or not they're actually on the radio right now. They can collect that message without any uh, scheduling, without any coordination. They can collect that message as soon as they get on the radio and connect to, for example, the JS8 call network. This is also true for WinLink and VAR AC. So if someone is telling you not to use voice communications or data communications or a gimmick or a toy or their, or their only experience with data communications is, for example, FT8, you know, or PSK31, they really have no idea what they're talking about. Help educate them, but take what they say with grain of salt.